welcome to Eddie's Football Waffle. Yeah. Guys, welcome back to the Waffle Headquarters. Please hit the like on the premise that the video will be good. Please! Please! And if not, I can get Denzel to make you feel guilty. You motherfucker! Now, my reaction to Arsenal versus Man City, or I shouldn't say Man City versus Arsenal, is going to be short and bitter. Alright, Dean. But I'll actually get some positivity out before I get into it. Really? Well done to Arsenal for challenging Man City for 80% of the season thank you played you you guys played great formulaic football and as a rival united fan i i despised enjoying that football don't hate the player hate the game son you got you guys established an eight point lead that is that is a big lead that's a massive lead in terms of you know leading the champions more than you believe and man city had to chase down that lead and like a lion, they, they, they've chased it down. And like the prey going limp, Arsenal, you, are, you have been, you, you were like gazelles in that last match. Where was the fight? Where, where was the passion? I mean, you guys, you guys have great Formula 8 football, but where was the aggression? I don't know! Man, it's, Man City barely got out of third gear i was i was nearly correct with my prediction i said 4-1 but i was way off with my prediction for the performance arsenal you guys are nowhere near challenging like the likes of liverpool in the past few years who have pushed them to the last day who, who, who have put up their high press proper aggression when they've played them i think they've had a couple of 2-2 draws you, you guys were nowhere near that no, no fucking way. way. I, I see. See, this is why I was trolling before because I, I knew it. I do. I do troll, but I know ball. Yeah. I knew there was gonna be PTSD from 2007. Bottle jobs, and then Man United ended up winning the league. It, whether it be on their conscience or subconscious, it was there. You guys need more warriors, experience, and, and, and then you'll be in, in, in a position to actually challenge the champions. And to, to Arsenal fans saying this wasn't a bottle job, I, I've, got, I've got to disagree. I mean, you guys stepped up for this race. You guys played the best football in the league. You guys were doing things that champions, potential champions, do for that like 80% of the season. You guys, I mean, if you guys didn't go ahead 2-0 at Anfield, 2-0 at West Ham and, and let it slip away, then maybe it wouldn't be a bottle job. But you guys had the power in your hands. All you had to do was focus, but you're not there yet. So that's a bottle job. You couldn't focus. Yeah. But in the same sentence as that, you can have the, 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 the idea of overperforming. Yes, you guys overperformed. Yeah? No one thought you'd be in a title race. But you guys stepped into the title race and from there you couldn't maintain. <sighs> anyway, everyone get in your, your was this a bottle job? You know, can, can Arsenal get stronger next season? Um, yeah, uh, any thoughts, get them in, hit the like, subscribe and peace.